All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna chop off the exhaust pipe. Uh, instead of taking the time to unmount the whole thing, I decided it'd be faster just to chop the bit off that's in the way. So now we're grabbing our trusty Harbor Freight crane, getting it hooked up with our leveler. I'd like to take this little bit of time lapse to plug the channel real quick. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and share with your car friends. Be sure to visit our website, initialdiymods.com, and check out the shop to help support the channel. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Wheelwell, and Instagram to see our pictures of the build as it happens day by day. All social media links are in the description. Check them out. So now we're just pulling off one of the, uh, the transmission mounts, basically the transmission mount to uh, clear space to get it in. And right now we're just test fitting. We're trying to see uh, where everything's fitting, where everything's sitting. And to get a better idea of that, we're gonna go ahead and put our transfer case back on so we can see where our drive shaft's gonna come through into the engine compartment. So first checks, it definitely fits inside the engine bay, which is pretty exciting. Currently we've got about 10 inches uh, that it needs to go back further. But checking all of our clearances side to side, it looks like it actually does fit inside. On this side, however, the subframe is hitting the transmission. So as for ease of use, we're just gonna chop it off for right now. We're gonna chop it off right here behind the lower control arm. And that's going to at least get a space to get everything installed. Later on, we're gonna tie back into the frame when we actually hook up our GSX lower control arm into the Mini Cooper frame. Pulling some of the wires out of the way and taking measurements on how far the engine needs to go back, how far it can go back, where the clearances are, uh, and just keeping everything marked up. Now we wanna make sure that we get the engine level in the engine bay. Obviously we don't want our stuff uh, crooked or anything but we definitely want to keep optimum angles for the transmission and the axles and the drive shaft coming out the back as well. One of the things I ended up learning when I was going through all this, the engine does actually fit inside the engine bay. However, it fits one inch off to the side, so it doesn't actually uh, allow for the axles to bolt straight up. So what you end up having to do is either modify the frame to get clearance in order to shift the engine over another three quarters of an inch to get it perfectly centered, or you have to get custom axles made so that you make up for that distance, either the shortage or the extra distance that you have on one side versus the other. Chopping a bit more of our subframe, we're taking off the transmission mount and the engine mount from the original Mini Cooper and just getting it all out of the way. Hammer helps take care of some of that too. All right, everybody. So we just left work. Sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, we're driving eh, kind of through a shitty area right now. Um, God damn it. All these fucking idiots. Yeah, the lane's closed, but uh, yeah, we can still fucking move. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're heading over, we ordered steel from onlinemetals.com, so you can check them out, link in the description. Um, but, basically, damn it. Fucking drop the GoPro, you fucking noob. Oh, I'm filming, driving, and fucking doing all this shit. Anyway, what kind of a fucking moron fucking go, people? We've got most things measured out in design. We're gonna do our suspension on the front to connect the knuckles. Um, so once we get our engine in place, we'll be able to do, weld up the subframe, um, come up with a design configuration for that that works, and get the suspension on the front um, sort of set in place, which is gonna be, again, awesome. We have to link the knuckles off the GSX to the Mini Cooper struts 
which is going to take a little bit of uh, cutting, welding, grinding to get it all to fit. So we're going to do that. Um, but right now we're just uh, we have to, of course, get the metal first. So we're we're driving there. Um, I'm lucky enough. I found out to order from OnlineMetals.com because uh, I don't have to pay shipping because they're actually like 15 minutes from my house. I've never been so close to a to such a large distributor. And I placed the order last night around 11:30. I had everything measured up, and literally, I think 2 p.m. they gave me an email: "Hey, your metal's ready." So um, I bought about a hundred dollars worth, a little bit less, about eighty-five dollars worth. But yeah, so I, I got about uh, a 24 inch by 12 inch by eighth of an inch thick plate slash sheet steel, and then from uh, also got the two inch by three inch uh, by a quarter or by eighth of an inch for the subframe and then I've also got some pipe that is uh, again eighth of an inch thick wall tubing um, and the inner bore on that is 2.01 inches and that'll be apparent why that is such an important measurement coming up for us uh, here in a little bit so stay tuned Yes. Sorry about that. The person who mans the uh, intercom is out. So. Ah, gotcha. No worries. All right. Do you need some help carrying it out? Oh, you it got it. Be awesome if you could. Absolutely. You right. Which one do you Let me carry this one. sheet. Okay. California branch, since they were still open. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're able to get everything. I'm probably going to have to flip that in the truck. Putting somehow. this in here? Serious? Yeah. Supposed to have a truck or something. Uh, yeah, ideally like a truck would be great, but, <laughs> you know. So I take it this is what you're working on? Actually, no. Or so someone else's? This is what I, I used to work on until it was finished. So now it's making 600 horsepower. Oh, it's practical. And then uh, I'm actually building an all-wheel drive Mini Cooper. Oh, that's awesome. So. Yeah, tuck it over the seat. Yeah, there you go. No, of course. <laughs> Not my intent here. Yeah, no worries. Right, well, awesome. thank you very much. Appreciate all the thank help. Thank you. Let us know if you need anything else. Okay? Will do. I'll be back for sure.